In this video, we're gonna be talking about Red Wings Leather Cream. Now, this is a Neats Foot based cream that can be used on all types of smooth skin and oil tan leather. Now, Neats Foot, if you're not familiar, is rendered from the knee and the shin bone, but not the hoof of cows. And so if that grosses you out and you already clicked away, I apologize, but this is some awesome stuff. It's meant to not darken the leather, and so that's why it's advertised and ran alongside the Heritage line for Red Wing. But the great thing is I've ran it on a bunch of different set of boots and it works really good. In fact, in the 18th century, according to I think Wikipedia, it says that they actually used it for skin ailments. So the cool thing about that is I actually do often run this just with my bare hands. I'll put it on the boots. Feel free to grab a rag or something like that, an old dish towel or an old t-shirt. But hey, maybe if you have a little wart or some skin thing, I'm not your doctor, but maybe just maybe that'll be worked out by the time you get done polishing those boots. I'm finding this stuff for about $10 for two ounces. Of course, that comes out at $5 an ounce. It's made in America. It's not gonna darken your leather one bit and it's deeply conditioning. But friends, just like everything else in life, there's always a con. So this stuff's probably not the best if you need something for New England, the Pacific Northwest, if you're traipsing through a bunch of snow and mud in the middle of winter, it's not gonna get the job done. Of course, Red Wings thought about that and they have this spray leather protector that's gonna give you some more waterproofing and weather resistance, but you're probably gonna have to grab some mink oil. And so that's where you're gonna have to decide, are you gonna change the color and the profile of your Heritage Line boot, or are you just gonna get something different? I just got done making my My Boot Collection 2021, and I went through how there's a different boot for every different need. And so maybe it's time to just grab another set of boots, or maybe go ahead and you decide to throw that mink oil on there. So again, it's not the most deeply penetrating, but guys love this stuff. You know, it has awesome reviews. I've been running it for a while. I throw it on all kinds of different boots and leather, and it's held up really well. So guys, I wanna get into actually using it. And so as I was talking, often I like to just put it on with my fingers. Now I've already gone through in a video before and I've cleaned these boots. I tend to clean them once every four times I condition them. That's if I'm running them like a heritage line boot. That's if it's just an everyday, maybe hit a couple light trails or something like that where it's dust but not really mud. Again, I told you guys I would clean them before conditioning them if they're muddy. Uh, but like this, you're just grabbing a liberal amount and just start going to town. You know, there's not a huge science to this as you guys can imagine. I'm just gonna make sure that we're gonna hit every little spot, go around these eyelids and speed hooks, and then we're gonna get down in that well. So the cool stuff about this compared to some conditioners that have pigment in it is it's not gonna change your laces at all. And often, you know, I will grab a rag and just put this stuff on, uh, but it's, it's probably gonna take care of all your other elements along the way. Now I like to say, grab all your boots and just do them at once if you can. Sometimes a boot needs particular attention, and so maybe you might do that boot all on its own, but it takes a little bit to grab some stuff out of the closet and get your brushes out and stuff. So, you know, if you can just make a night of it, maybe a Sunday night watching the game, I think it'll be just fine. So I'm about done with these guys. Uh, I'm gonna keep touching it up a little bit longer, but that's about all the process is. So these have been cleaned and now they're conditioned and I'm gonna hit them once more with that horsehair brush. You know, if you decide not to wash them before, I would definitely maybe even wipe them down with a damp cloth and get all that dirt off. Make sure there's not any big dust or anything like that on there, big chunks of dirt, and then hit it with a horsehair brush. And so some people don't bother with this last step, but after I feel like I got it really worked in there, I like to just buff it out a little bit. I think that evens it out. I think it gets a little bit of heat not that there's waxes in here or anything, but just gets a little bit of heat going in there and just making sure these brushes are getting down in that welt. And I think that horsehair brush does a really good job of cleaning around the eyelids and the speed hooks. And of course, we're gonna hit that tongue right in there. I wanna show you guys just a little example of how this stuff conditions. And you know, you probably can't see it quite as good, but you can drop some water on there and it's not gonna be quite like that mink oil, but it really is coming off. 
it's not really attaching itself. Uh, it is on there more than it would be with that mink oil, and I haven't hit it with that spray protector, but I think it does a really good job of keeping most of the water off. Again, we already talked about using some deeper stuff in the middle of winter. This is definitely your summertime running gun stuff, but I'm just looking at it here and it's doing a pretty good job of repelling some of that water. Not as much as the mink oil would be. Well, and there it is, friends. That's the Red Wing Leather Cream. I can't speak highly enough about it. I'll drop a link in the description so you can check it out, see if it's maybe a product that you wanna run on your boots, whether they're Red Wing or something else. You know, guys, as we get to conditioning these boots and being a good steward of them, we really start understanding for ourselves how often they need conditioning. We start, you know, it's not always a model or a mold that we can find. We're all doing different things. These boots are taking us different places. So I just encourage you to just keep an eye on your boots and I think you'll start growing some kind of relationship with that so that you don't have to look for maybe a model, but you'll just know when it starts getting dry. You'll know when you put too much on and I think before too long, you'll have it all worked out. So friends, I'm keen to know if there's anything I missed about this stuff or needs for oil in general. If there's a conditioner out there that you'd love to see me talk about or something that you think boot related, you'd love to see on this channel, hit me up in the comments below. Friends, we love if you made it this far in the video to subscribe, you know, become a part of the gentleman's journey as we all strive to become better gentlemen. But friends, until the next video, God bless you. And hey, don't forget to show those boots some love from time to time.